welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the TGC Open is about to kick off. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, it's like the first day at school, isn't it? This player has now made it to the PGA Tour. What could possibly be going on through their mind? They're just trying to not vomit <laughs> when they're on the first team. <laughs> right. Nobody's thinking about the money and the excitement <laughs> and the major wins. And this is the Austrian. You are literally so excited to hit that first tee shot. You really don't care where it goes, but you want it to be in play. But right. you just, that's the only thing that you can. Let's just get going. That's the only thing that you can possibly comprehend mm -hmm. is hitting that ball. That's the only thing you can. I dare any other player to say, well, <laughs> this is the right. yeah. first of many unbelievable opportunities. Listen, we, we can talk about everything that they want to achieve or what their career was. But right now, their one and only goal is getting that first tee shot in play somewhere. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. <laughs> Nicely done. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Looking great now. Oh, hello, welcome to the course. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the tournament. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That one was fired out of a cannon. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Opting for the five wood. Oh, absolutely flushed. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, guys, it's about 22 feet to go here. This one looking really good. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. He's currently tied for first. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the third hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Just didn't drop. 
And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. Here's a great shot from our player currently in second. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Well, this should find the short grass. Sitting at two under, currently tied for top spot. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. This would be a great up and down. Oh, well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. If he makes this, he'll save his par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Finds himself in a share of the lead. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Wow, that was just striped. And now we go to the sixth where this happened just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? A couple under at this stage. Currently tied for first place. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And coming up well short. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down she goes. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Leading by a shot after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff.
getting ready to play their third. This putt will move them to three under par. Get in. Ooh, right by the hole. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, you're just in time for Tony Finau's next shot here on the fifth. Heck, and that shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. We have a par three on this one. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Going with the five wood. Yeah, a quality shot that. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. This one's tracking. Okay, steady now. And that should secure the par. Well done. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Sitting at two under par. Currently leading. Seems to have chosen the three wood. John, what's going on out there? Down on the ninth hole now, guys. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. Ooh. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Let's return to live play now. Rich, there's a lot to like about Justin Thomas, isn't there? He's uh, short in stature and not a big build, but a really pound-for-pound -pound great player. He's learned a lot on how to play the game over the first few years on tour. He always tried to hit it as hard as he could. Now he's developed a, another game within a game. He's starting to hit these shorter shots with lots of feel, lots of touch. Right now, Justin Thomas is one of the most complete players in the game. He's also got a wonderful attitude out there. He takes the good with the bad. But when he's in contention, it just seems to bring out the best in him, doesn't it? He's got a killer instinct about him, and when he gets around the lead, he doesn't let it go easily. He, he sticks around. He may not win all the time, but I tell you, he's going to make you earn that victory if he doesn't get there first. That should find the cut stuff. Sitting at two under, currently in top spot.
And here we are with the third shot. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Well, a little off the target with that one. You know, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Here's a chance to get up and down from the green side bunker. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Six feet remaining to the cup. Ooh, nice looking putt. Ooh. And this one is for bogey. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Good looking shot this. Let's head over to the 13th. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Ooh. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. One stroke off the lead. Opting for the hybrid, I think. <laughs> Nicely done. And this part for a share of the lead. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. And that makes him tied for first. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That's heading for the fairway. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, how good was that? Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. This putt coming up is for birdie. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. Big chance here. That one had eyes for it the whole way. And with that, he'll move to three under par. 
The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Going with the seven. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. A bit short with that effort. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Yeah, that one will play. Sitting at three under par, currently in the lead. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Tony Fino with a fantastic shot. Lining up for his third now. Okay, let's get back to the action. Getting ready to play their third. That's a good looking shot there. Just three feet to the cup. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to four under. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That was absolutely murdered. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut.
Going with a three wood here. This one needs to kick left. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Oh dear, time to get the chipper back out. And here we are with their fourth. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Judging it beautifully. Starts off on a good line. Yep. Well hold for Bogey. He sits in first position. Here we are in front of a par three. Opting for the five wood. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. just was never hit hard enough. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and it seems so in this case. And the putt drops, now at three under, heading down the stretch. If anything can happen down the stretch, let's see what takes place. John, do you have any info down there? No, I'm down to the 18th hole right now, and this is Kevin Kisner's next shot. Oh dear, that's on the beach. That's incredible. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Wow. There's a lot of power in that one. Bombed. Let's take a look back at this just moments ago. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. Yeah, I got to say, check this shot out and what a shot it was indeed. Playing from around 230 yards. Opting for the three wood. That's ah, a little wayward. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there.
All right, safely out of the bunker and now a chance to make a putt. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. It's half a chance of being hold this one. And in it goes for the par. Currently at minus three for the event. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? That should find the fairway. Wow, Rich, that's impressive. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. Now, that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. That line was looking good, wasn't it? This is a par putt. The only good thing about three putting for par is you don't drop a shot. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And this player now tees off on their final hole of the event, tied for the lead. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. That was a thing of beauty. He got all of that one. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. What a shot by our leader. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. Ladies and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think's going through their mind right now? Nothing. They're confused about everything right now. I tell you, you just, you win and you're just, you can't believe it just happened. You really just have no idea. You're shocked. It's a great feeling. Well, what a memorable moment this is, Rich. Players never forget their first ever PGA Tour win, nor will this player. Great job. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.